yes yes um yeah so you've seen the first bit of the video the first part of the video um where um pc15913 and uh, pc15030 um well yeah you've seen them standing there trying to bully me harass me intimidate me um but the only thing that they wasn't doing is um taking my complaint my report um that i felt threatened by that first plain clothes officer what has happened is that um obviously i'm telling these two officers that um you know i've been given permission to film by um inspector creed and i'm um, obviously not um trespassing now i think that's what the guy was trying to say to me the police officer um prior i think he was trying to say oh about this trespassing implied rights and all that sort of thing now i was telling him that um i've been given consent um to film you know he wasn't listening he actually didn't hear that because i said to him you know go and get the inspector and let's have a dis uh, discussion about it he wasn't having it he wasn't doing it he was just constantly banging on banging on about um, wanting me to move and you saw that i didn't go okay yes yes uh, on to the next one. Who are you talking to? He ain't talking to me. I'm not his mate. I don't, I've never seen it. I don't know. What's it? Who are you? Are you meant to be on the ground? Who, who is he? Got any ID? Are you meant to be on the ground? I am. Yes. Oh, you got any ID? I have. Thank well, you. Well then, what is the ID then? Right, I'm gonna... So you don't want to give me your ID and let me know who you are, yeah? No. No, nor do I. It goes both ways, yeah. Who are you? Who are you? I'm working. Yeah, who? Who are you? Why? Well, then you 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 want to you think that I'm your mate? I'm just letting you know that I'm no, not. No, I just wondered what you were doing. No, now. but, but I'm not your mate, though, am I? Just make that clear, yeah. Uh, fine, but that's yeah. just an expression that I tend to use. No, well, I don't like the ex expression because I'm not your mate. No, fine, okay. Ah, oh, cool. No, all right. Is, can I help you in any way? I don't know. Who are you? I work here. <laughs> so what? <laughs> oh, John, how are you doing? Are you right? Yeah, good, thank you. Yeah, thank you.
would have done nothing. So I take it you're a visitor, yeah? I take it you're a visitor? Yeah, yeah. Alright, cool. What's that, civilian? Sorry? Civilian? Why? Does it matter? Well, I mean, you're parked in a, a visitor's spot. No, visitor. Okay, no, well, okay, so you're just visiting. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you're a police officer, but you're just visiting. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah, no, that's fine. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm going to have to wait somebody. Oh, I thought you needed medical attention. Hey? I thought you needed medical attention. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, I thought you was a bit breathless there. No, mate. Well, I'm not your mate. I mean, you keep on saying it. Uh, no, no, it's an expression. Like yeah, you. it's an expression. But do you know what, right? I mean, you're, you're a police officer. I'm a member of the public, right? I'm not your mate. Yeah, I'm just asking you not to call me mate. Yeah, I don't like it. Because Fine, okay. we've got no affiliation towards well, each don't other. Don't talk to me then if you don't want to talk oh, to oh, me. I was, just, I was just checking on your welfare. Yeah, no, all right, fine, all right. I was checking on your welfare. That's it. I'm fine. All right. All right. Cool. The swap's not working, mate. Okay. Yeah, so this is a uh, Folkestone police station, and um, basically, um, I'm not even going to go on the car park. <laughs> it's, it doesn't make no sense. Um, the reason why is because um, when I was speaking with um, Inspector Creed, <laughs> he sort of said that this particular area, um, past the bollards, was private property, and um, the implied right could have been um, withdrawn for me to be there. But he said, if I want to film, I can film here. So basically, this doesn't have to have an implied right of access because um, it's not their property. As far as I'm aware, it's not their property. He said, this is public and this is why I'm here. And that's why I said that if an inspector wants to come out, I will uh, speak to him. So as far as I'm concerned, I was told that I can film here.
Sorry? Hello again. Just asking you, what are you doing? I'm not your mate. So, what are you doing filming on this property? Oh, trust me properly. What are you doing filming on the property? Who are you? That's my ID, who are you? Who are you? What's your shoulder number? Don't you worry about that, you've More seen then. my ID, show me your ID. I haven't seen your ID. Can you leave the property? I'm not leaving you? the property. Why not? Because I don't know who you are. There's my ID. Who are you? My ID. Who are you? BSC Wilson. Okay, what's shoulder number? There's my badge number. What's your shoulder number? number? I'm asking you. There's my badge number. I'm asking number. you. There's my badge number. I'm asking you. Can't leave the property. I'm not leaving the property. Get back in your car and turn your engine off. Call the admin. Go on then, right. off you go. That's okay, it's Get lost. Wet. Go away. Go on. Go on. In you go, in your trot. But who are you? <laughs> now you look stupid, don't you? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. You look so stupid. Don't put your hand up to me. Get out of here. Fox shot Oscar. See, what I don't even understand is that they're going to be telling me that I can't film close. So, what about if you've got a, a, a lens that will reach the door? So this is Folkestone Police Station. And just to say, um, actually, <laughs> nope, I didn't make a phone call to tell them that I'm coming down here to protest or to make a complaint against a police officer. That definitely was not me. Is there anything else you'd like to go through with me? Yeah, why aren't you making that call? And get me a CAD number. Well, that's, that's what I want to know. That's all you asked me if I wanted anything else, and I've just told you what I wanted. No, no, let's not go through the whole asked. thing again. It doesn't matter because you, you're not going to do it. Because you was arrested last week and you were upset by it. So say that again. So say I that. understand the reasons why, because you called in to say that you, you, you had a complaint to make about an officer. Is that correct? Say that again. I believe. Yeah. Because you called ahead to say you were coming here. I called ahead. Because you had, you had a complaint to make about an officer. Is that correct? Say that one more time. I called, go on. I called ahead. Mm -hmm. So who have I called? The control room. Right. And what have I said? That you were coming here to, to protest. Go on. I don't know why, but I, I believe it's to do with making, uh, you wanted to make a complaint about a police officer. Is that correct? <laughs> that's untrue, that's untrue. <laughs> Who told you that? You did. When did I tell you that? If, if I'm, if I'm no, when did I tell you that? On the phone call you made to the control room. When did I tell you that? I don't know when specifically. No, you said... <laughs> when. When, when, did I, when did I say those words? You tell me. No, no, no. When did I tell you? Tell me. So if you don't know, why are you saying that? Are you assuming stuff again? No, I'm not assuming it. Yeah, well, well, you must know then. Somebody must have told you that. Yeah, we had... Oh, here's your mate. Yeah, see? It's right. not my mate. He's an assailant. He assaulted me. Yeah, he assaulted me. Tyrant, bully. Bully. 
Oh, put a complaint in. Is that how you do it, yeah? You assault people and then you just say complain about you, yeah? Could you, could you, could you, see, he told you to go away, didn't he? No, he told you to go away. So now, address this situation. You're a police officer and you need to address the situation and come out and let me know. I'm going in. And, and, no, you're, you're going to make a, a I'm, I'm a putting in a formal complaint to you. Okay. Right, and I'd like to come out with a CAD number for that incident, okay. please. What I suggest is you stop no, coming no. and go and wait in the front counter. school <laughs> probably a secret school so this is the other side Right, in terms of the first instance, that uh, chap is speaking with my inspector now. What's his name? I don't know his name, but he's come down voluntarily to speak to my inspector. Okay, so that's happening now. Okay, all we ask you to do, while you're trying to explain to me... Did you get a CAD number? I haven't got a CAD number. because he's speaking to my inspector if he's speaking to you at the minute? Yeah, so, 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 has, has it been... Me? Has it been to me? I'm just asking, has it been reported? Yes. So, so what I'm saying to you, should be a CAD you, number. Okay, all we need to know... Well, what we're happy with you doing is filming, obviously, outside of more public areas. That's absolutely fine. Don't stop you doing that. Okay? All we ask that under Section 68, and I'm probably going to have to read it because I know off by heart, Section 68 of the um, Criminal Justice Public Order Act 1994, okay, is not to film... Um, are you detaining me? No, not by listen. Are you, are you giving me a caution? Stop telling me to yeah, listen. I'm you a warning. Stop. Listen. No, 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 no. Are you cautioning me? I'm not cautioning you. Well I'm then, I don't advice. want to hear no section, nothing, nothing. Am I doing anything wrong? Am I doing anything wrong? No, no, am I doing anything wrong? Am I doing anything wrong? Don't, st wrong. listen, don't tell me that I was filming regis registrations plates, okay? Get some concrete evidence yeah. and then come and start telling me all these things. Otherwise, go you away. Did. You keep on, yeah, you just, no, you I just said, did. I'm telling you, under that section. This under what section? Of section what? Doing what? Is if you, if you start, if you begin to start filming, Registration plates, keypads, people coming in and out of the building. It's obstructing day to day business. No, it's thing. not. I'm not okay. obstructing well, anybody. And I can you. stand in. Oh, get lost. Yeah, Do you know something? You. I can stand in a public place and I can film whatever I want. Yeah. Right? We, we I'm going away. No, you can't. No, you can't. No, you can't. No, you can't. Get lost. You can't. Yeah, we can. Get lost. You can't. You can't. It'd be unlawful. I'll tell you that now. You try to arrest me and it will be unlawful. Believe you me. No one's telling you to come down. I'm not obstructing your duties. I'm actually telling you to go back and do your work. That is an obstruction. You can't be obstructing an officer in his duty if he's not doing a duty. Your duty shouldn't be down here telling me that I can't do anything because I'm doing a lawful activity. I'm not doing nothing which is criminal. So therefore the obstruction does not count. So there's no section 68, right? You're making it up again, oh, no, right? No, you no, are no, making no. it up because I'm filming from a public place. I'm doing nothing illegal yeah, or law unlawful. Like my colleague has said, that law and that comes into place when you start filming keypads. But I wasn't, and, and, but I wasn't. Right, but no, because I wasn't doing these right, things. Okay. Unless you've got evidence that I was doing that, then you haven't. No, so therefore go away wrong. because I'm not doing nothing wrong. I told you already, I was not filming keypads. So don't turn around and say that's what I was doing. I'm not hearing what you got to say. 
right? Because that's what you want to do. You want to try to criminalize me. Criminalize yourself. Get back inside. Go, go and arrest yourselves. Good morning. It's afternoon now, right? But good afternoon. Right, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's cool. Look at my watch that's all right. In you go, you're dismissed. So this is the back of the police station, round the back, round the other side. Oh, he's your mate. Yeah, see, he's not my mate. He's the, he's an assailant. He assaulted me. Yeah, he assaulted me. Tyrant, bully, bully. Oh, put a complaint in. Is that how you do it? Yeah, you assault people and then you just say complain about you. Yeah. Could you, could you, could you, could you see? He told you to go away, didn't he? No, he told you to go away. So now, address this situation. You're a police officer and you need to address the situation and come out and let me know. I'm going in. And, and no, you're, you're going to make a, a I'm, I'm a putting in a formal complaint to you. Okay. Right, and I'd like to come out with a CAD number for that incident, okay. please. What I suggest is you stop coming no, no. and go and wait in the front counter. In police Folkestone Police Station. There's Officer 101. Outside must be cold. Uh, I'm not going to film any of the public. Yeah, I'm just going to quickly just do the 4 a.m. go. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do. Well, I actually want to make a complaint, actually. Yeah. Just the foyer. There we are. Public. This is uh, Kent Police foyer. Um, I was physically, unlawfully, arrested. <laughs> arrested, yeah. The charge, or the allegation, that they put to me while I was in custody was that um, I was being uh, arrested under um, Section 68, um, aggravated trespass. Um, I f was further, there was further allegation of um, a Public Order Act, Section 5, of a uh, harassment, alarm and distress, and also further, there was three, um, allegation, assault on an emergency worker. Assault on an emergency worker. Now, you saw the video, yeah, plainly saw the video. Um, I didn't touch anybody or assault anybody or anything like that. But when I was um, being interviewed, the allegation of assault on emergency worker was put to me that the officer who had his hand up to me, who I thought was threatening, had made an allegation that my words that I said to him were threatening. Oh, well, we're going to have to listen to those words that I said to him. And he, as far as I'm concerned, has made a statement to say that those words were threatening and they, the police, made a further allegation of assault on an emergency worker. Now, as far as I'm concerned, um, total lies, total BS.
and I don't even see how they could have put that allegation to me because all they would be going on was his word when he didn't video it yeah and the word of the female police officer who was sticking up for him so they had to be both of them said yes i said threatening words because the assault was verbally it really is effed up proper that i could be or have an allegation technically charged yeah if they would have found evidence obviously they didn't for assault and emergency worker how corrupt and underhanded is that hmm hmm oh dear and i was held for eight hours eight hours because of um these allegations you have to listen to everything to understand how corrupt these police are two people said to me go to the front uh, office make a complaint when i go to the front office that's when um i'm actually arrested I'm making a complaint. I've been told to go there. So why have they then decided to arrest me? It's really, again, as I say, effed up. I'm not a swear. I don't need to swear. Fox Drop Oscar. Folks, the corruption is running high. So I'm just going to explain something as well. Yeah. The um, Public Order Act, Section 5. Yeah. Harassment, alarm, and distress. What it was. Again, I'm finding this out um, in um, in the interview, yeah. Um, there was a woman police officer, so they said, um, entering into the police building when I was around the back. And she said, because I was filming, yeah, she felt harassed, alarmed and distressed. Um, she was pregnant. So it heightened the, I don't know, her stress levels. Now, under interview... Uh, sorry, under caution in interview, I said to them, I can't remember no woman. Can't remember anybody, not on my video. Yeah, somebody might have gone in and out and that. But what I said to them, which was quite significant, it's not all the time that I'm actually filming. Yeah, I don't walk around with my camera on all the time. So I could have been walking with the camera in my hand, not necessarily filming, and she may have been going in and walked past. It happens that she's not on my film at all. But yet, they made an allegation, or she made an allegation of feeling harassed, alarmed and distressed without no evidence of that even taking place. Because I wasn't even filming at that time. Yes, yes. <laughs> Kent Police. Folkestone Police Station. Wow. What palaver. <laughs> what a palaver. So, uh, this is where I got arrested. This is uh, <laughs> the police station that I got arrested at. And um, do you know what? Uh, I've made a change. <laughs> I've made a change right here. Um, on the wall, you shall see some signs. I wanted the signs in red. Hold on, if I can keep it still. One of the signs in red says... Uh, no photography or filming using any device. Ah, uh, do you know why? Because when I came here last time, I trampled all the way up and down this pathway. Down to this gate up there filming 
and at the time I was filming lawfully and legally. <laughs> uh, but they didn't like it. Um, so now they've uh, put up signs saying you can't film. And um, obviously I'm filming from a public place right now on the public highway on the road. So uh, I'm still obeying the law and I was obeying the law the last time around because uh, Inspector Creed had given me permission to film as long as I stay where these bollards are. Anyway, that's me, I'm out of here. I'm out of here, folks, then. It's been a blast. One year on, still bullying, still being tyrannic, cool. So if you do like my um, content, please uh, make a comment, like, share and subscribe. This is a uh, Folkestone Police Station. charges have been dropped yeah no further action okay so they dropped the charges the reason i think that they dropped the charges is because they did seize my phone yeah and on my phone it blatantly would show exactly what i was doing it would tell them the words i used against that um plain clothes piece that it will show that this guy has got to have been lying to have made an allegation about my words being threatening yeah because that was the assault on an emergency worker that is something which you can't go and tell your friends oh i've been charged with assault on an emergency worker they'll be like what but that never happened yeah the harassment alarm and distress that didn't happen i wasn't filming anybody at the time of this woman walking past me i wasn't filming her you know it's not everybody that i film it's not everybody that i do film that even ends up on the tape but because they looked at the tape, they know that I didn't film her. Yeah. And the last one of um, aggravated trespass, they told me to go to the foyer to make a complaint. How can I be um, trespassing if I've got a bona fide um, complaint to make after two officers have told me to go there? So the police have told me, go on, go and make a complaint. And then they've arrested me. Set up. Hmm. But anyway, 10 hours I was there for. 10, oh, give and take between 9 and 10. I don't even know um, the exact time I got arrested, but I do know I, I got literally 9, 10 hours. Oh, man, you don't even understand where I, I was. Uh, but anyway, um, it's ongoing. Don't watch that. It's ongoing. But I'm back. On to the next one.